Canadian literature mock test or quiz. Here it is. Hello, how are you? This is Hina from Team Wallet. And that is how we say bye-bye to any summary series. That is, we started with Canadian literature series on Wallet. I did almost all the important works, but I'm sure I could not cover everything, but whatever I have covered, that is definitely important. So at the end of it, let us start with this mock test or quiz, which will of course be based on what we studied. But other than that, definitely many additional things have also been added. Okay, so get ready. Let's start. Question number one, Hit hey, you try to answer them, okay? Maurik Gunn is the protagonist in Dash by Margaret Lawrence. Which novel's protagonist is Maurik Gunn? A, the Stone Angel. B, the Diviners. C, the Fire Dwellers. Tell me. I have done the summary of the Stone Angel and the Fire Dwellers. Maurik Gunn was not in them, which means the answer is option B, the Diviners. Published in 1974, this was Lawrence's final novel. Protagonist, Maurik Gunn. Question number two. The English Patient, or oh, a very important novel by Michael Ondaatje, is set against the backdrop of A. Partition, B. Spanish Civil War, or C. World War II. I have done the English Patient. Kindly check its summary. It is option C, World War II. Okay, the backdrop is World War II, the English Patient. Sec third, the novel... Who Has Seen the Wind by W.O. Mitchell falls in the category of A. Local Color Novels B. Prairie Fiction C. Manavaka Novels Tell me, Who Has Seen the Wind by Mitchell belongs to Option B. Prairie Fiction Yes, the Canadian prairie novel shifts from social realism towards lyricism. Okay? Question number four. Here it is. Running in the Family is a fictionalized memoir written in postmodern style involving aspects of Dash by Michael Ondaatje. Basically, Running in the Family is a memoir by Michael Ondaatje and it involves what? A. Gothic romance, B. Science fiction or C. Magic realism. Do you know it? It is option C. Magic realism where magic is shown to be real. Just like ordinary. Question number five. What is to be done is a famous play by A. Leonard Cohen, B. Robertson Davies, C. Mavis Leslie Gallant. What is to be done is a play by Option C. Mavis Leslie Gallant. You know, Mavis Gallant's only play, only play is what is to be done. Okay. It is a comedy which opens in the year 1942 and it deals with battle against fascism or fascism, okay? What is to be done by M.L. Gallant, okay? Question number six. The Cinnamon Peeler is a dash by Michael Ondaatje. The Cinnamon Peeler is a A novel, B collection of short stories or C collection of poems. The Cinnamon Peeler by Michael Ondaatje is... Option C, collection of poems. Question number seven. Michael on Dajje was awarded Dash for his seminal work, The English Patient. What did Michael on Dajje receive for writing such an awesome novel like The English Patient? A, British Book Award. C, B, Pulitzer Prize. Or C, Booker Prize. I've done The English Patient as I told you. It is option C, Booker Prize. The English Patient is a 1992 novel by Ondaatje. It follows four dissimilar people who are brought together at an Italian villa during the Italian campaign of the Second World War. Basically, a Canadian nurse called Hannah takes care of a patient who is famously known as the English Patient. Okay? And here many people meet, love stories happen, the past returns. It's awesome. Question number eight. Alice Ann Munro is a Canadian short story writer who won the Nobel Prize in Literature in 2015. A true, B false. Did she win? Did Alice Munro win the Nobel Prize in 2015? No, it's B false. She won it in the year 2013 as 
master of contemporary short story, Alice Ann Munro, Canadian short story writer. Question number nine, let's move on. Margaret Atwood's novella, The Penelopeid, is based on A, Ovid's Metamorphosis, B, Homer's Odyssey, or C, Homer's Iliad, The Penelopeid. It's written by Margaret Atwood. It's a novella. It is based on Odyssey, Odyssey, which had Penelope. The Penelopeid is a novella by Canadian author Margaret Atwood. It was published in 2005 as part of first set of books in the Canon Gate myth series where contemporary authors rewrote ancient myths. So remember this, in Canon Gate myth series, authors rewrote ancient myths. Okay, question number 10. The Handmaid's Tale is a futuristic dash novel by Canadian author Margaret Atwood published in 1985. It's a futuristic A, utopian novel, B, dystopian novel, or C, both utopian and dystopian novel. I'm sure it can't be C at all. The Handmaid's Tale, it is option B, dystopia, dystopian novel. And I have to tell you here something. I have covered The Handmaid's Tale summary, not in Canadian literature, but in my post-colonial literature series. So I request you kindly go check out The Handmaid's Tale summary on Valak. It will come under the post-colonial literature series. Okay. This takes us to question number 11. The High Mountains of Portugal is a famous work by... The High Mountains of Portugal is by... A. Lawrence Hill, B. Jan Martel, or C. Arvind Adiga. It can't be Adiga. We're dealing with Canadian writers. It has to be B. Jan Martel. The High Mountains of Portugal is a 2016 novel by Jan. The novel is split in three sections, each of which concerns a widower. Okay. The High Mountains of Portugal by Jan Martel, Widower, Connect. Okay, 2016. Question number 12. Which work among the following is not by Alice Munro? Not. A. Who do you think you are? It is. B. Dance of the Happy Shades. It is. C. Lives of Girls and Women. It is. D. All are her works. So obviously, answer is D. All are Alice Munro's works. Question number 13. Who among the following is not a character in the English patient? Okay. A. Almacy, B. Michael or C. Caravaggio. Almacy himself is the English patient. Caravaggio is a thief. Remember, I told you. So it has to be option B, Michael. He's not a character in the English patient. Rather, Michael is the narrator of the cat's table. Remember, The Cat's Table is a novel by Michael Ondaatje. Okay, easy. Question number 14. A modern retelling of William Shakespeare's The Tempest. Okay, this novel is a retelling of The Tempest. And this novel was commissioned by Random House as part of its Hogarth Shakespeare series. Which novel are we talking about? Retelling of The Tempest. A. Alias Grace. B. Hagseed. Or C. Surfacing. Tell me, it is option B, hag seed, hag seed, okay? Question number 15, which of the following works titles is inspired from the Canterbury Tales? A, The Handmaid's Tale, B, Life of Pi, or C, Alias Grace? Which title is inspired from the Canterbury Tales? It has to be A, The Handmaid's Tale, okay? Question number 16. Lady Oracle is a novel by Margaret Atwood that parodies gothic romances and fairy tales. Is it true or false? Lady Oracle is by Margaret Atwood, which parodies gothic romances and fairy tales. It is true. Okay, true. 17. The novel's protagonist, Rennie Wilford, is a travel reporter. After surviving breast cancer, she travels to the fictional Caribbean island St. Antony to carry out research for an article. In which novel do we find her? Basically, who is, you know, which novel's protagonist is Rennie Wilford, a reporter who survived breast cancer? Rennie, connected with A, Good Bones, B, Bodily Harm, or C, The Robber's Bride. The Robber Bride, sorry. 
It is option B, Bodily Harm. Bodily Harm is a novel by Margaret Atwood published in 1981. Protagonist Rennie Wilford. 18th question. Dash is the first novel by Margaret Atwood published in 1969, which helps to establish Atwood as a prose writer of major significance. A, the ear of the flood. B, the edible woman. C, cat's eye. Or D, the blind assassin. Tell me, which is the first novel by Margaret Atwood? It is option B, The Edible Woman. I did not cover The Edible Woman. I've covered other major. Even Edible Woman is an important one. Kindly read it. Question number 19. Ishwar Darzi is a character in A, Family Matters, B, A Fine Balance, or C, a, Such a Long Journey. Ishwar Darzi, who comes to Bombay to work as a tailor, it is in A Fine Balance, novel by Rohintan Mystery. I have covered it. Kindly go check out its summary on our channel if you haven't yet. Question number 20. Tales from Firosha Bagh is a collection of dash short stories by Rohintan Mystery about the residents of Firosha Bagh, a Parsi-dominated apartment complex in Mumbai. Basically, Tales of Firosha Bagh is a collection of how many short stories? A9, B10 or C11? Tell me. It is option C11. Okay. Last five questions to go. I have kept 25 questions in Canadian literature today. 21st. Piscine Molitor Patel, an Indian boy from Pondicherry, is a character in a, Life of Pi, B, The High Mountains of Portugal, or C, Beatrice and Virgil. This you have to know. I have done this summary. It is Life of Pi. Piscine Molitor, Mol Molitor Patel is called as Pi, okay? A person, a boy who was lost in the sea along with a tiger, <laughs> a royal Bengal tiger. Oh, God. Question number it's Life of Pi, I told you. Question number 22nd. Which work among the following is not by Margaret Atwood? Not by her. A. You are happy. B. The circle game. C. Morning in the burned house. Or D. The mistress of spices. Please remember, You are happy is by Atwood. The circle game is by Atwood. Morning in the burned house is by Atwood, which means the mistress of spices is not by her. Who has written it? It's by Chitra Banerjee Devakaruni, an Indian author in English. Okay. Question number 23rd. Interlunar is a 1984 dash by Canadian author Margaret Atwood. Basically, Interlunar is a A novel, B essay collection or C poetry collection. Tell me, Interlunar is a... Poetry Collection, option C, 1984, by Canadian author Margaret Atwood. Question number 24. Beatrice Cullerton Motionaire is a Canadian Métis author, which means a native author. She is most notable for her novel, A, In Search of Lost Tree, B, In Search of April Rain Tree, or C, The Inheritance of Loss. I have covered this summary in our series. Beatrice Cullerton Motionaire has written option B in search of April rain tree. And with this, we come to the last novel of the day. <laughs> last question of the day. I keep on doing novels, no? Last question of the day. Dash is the protagonist of Oryx and Crake. The narrative recounts his life in the post-apocalyptic present as well as the pre-apocalyptic past. Basically, when the world was not destroyed, but now the world is destroyed. This protagonist survives this destruction or this plague which has killed entire humanity. Very few humans might be left. Okay, this person survives. Who is he? He's the protagonist of Oryx and Crake. What is his name? A, snow, a Sourberry, B, Snowman, or C, Schiller. You know him. I have done this summary. It is option B, Snowman, who was called Jimmy before, but now he's called as Snowman. And with this, we are done with mock test based on Canadian literature series. Okay. The few summaries that I haven't covered, I'm sure we will return to them. But then from next week onwards, I'm starting with another series. Okay. Thank you so much. This is Hina from Team Walla. Take very good care of yourself. 
it is lovely coming here, talking, discussing things. Bye-bye. Take care of yourself.